hello and welcome to this quick video on how to create section headings for your prioritization tool in Logos. The prioritization tool in Logos is quite powerful, but at the same time it's a very ugly feature and not that user friendly. I really hope someday Logos will give it a facelift. One of the problems is that by itself the prioritization pane is a long list of prioritized resources and you don't have a way to quickly see where your Bibles and your commentaries and your dictionaries are located in that list. So in this video, I will show you an easy workaround to add a little bit of organization to your prioritization tool by simply adding some section headings or dividers like the ones you see here. Yes, I know it is a workaround and Logos should definitely offer a better way to handle it. But for the time being, this will hopefully suffice for many of you. By the way, I created also a feature request to further develop the prioritization tool and you can help me by voting it up. So please go to the description of this video below and click the link that takes you to the feedback page of Logos and give my feature request a thumbs up. The more likes it gets, the more likely the developers will look at it. But for now, let's have a look at the workaround that will do for now. So first of all, we need to create an empty .docx file. You can do so by going to Microsoft Word or by using LibreOffice Writer. Make sure you enter at least a space before you save it as empty .docx. And of course, remember where you save it. Make sure you save it as a .x file and not as a .doc or a .odt file. Okay, so we have created an empty .docx file, so we can close this. Okay, now we are going to create a personal book using this empty .docs file. And the sole purpose of doing this is that we need to have a placeholder for the title of our section headings. So go to the tools menu and select personal books. If you don't see it in the menu, just type personal and click the tool personal books. You see, I have already created a couple of section headings, dividers, but for now I will create another one from, for my advanced prioritations. So I click add book and in the title space, I type the title of my empty book as I want it to appear in my prioritization pane. And in order to let it stand out, I wrap the title between five equal signs and the title itself in all capitals. And I want the title to be advanced prioritizations, prioritized resources for BDAG. I make sure that the type of the resource is monograph. You can ignore the other fields. Now click add file and search for your empty document that you created. Here it is. I click it, click open, and now Logos is adding that file to my personal book. Once you have added the empty document file, you can then finish your empty personal book by clicking build book. And now you will see your personal book at the bottom of the list of your personal books. We can close the personal books tool and now we'll open our library. But now that we have created our personal book, we need to find it in our library. So go to your library, open up the filter pane for your library by clicking the hamburger icon if you don't have it open yet. Go to the filter edition and select user created. That will give you an overview of all your personal books. And that's where you will find your prioritization section headings. And here is the one that I just created. So I will open up my prioritization pane. You see, I have a long list of prioritized resources. And I'm so glad that I have these section dividers. These are the commentaries for the New Testament. Here are commentaries for the Old Testament. Here are my Greek Bibles. Here are my Hebrew Bibles. Here are my English Bibles from literal to free. These are my top 10 topical prioritized resources. And here I have my Pseudepigrapha and Apocrypha. And I have also prioritized my top 10 versified prioritized resources. And then there's a long list of advanced prioritized resources. And I will explain my way of prioritizing resources uh, in a future video. 
But for now, I will just drag this prioritize resource section heading that I just created and place it over my BDAC prioritizations. Now, what this is telling me now is that, that after this section heading, I will see advanced prioritized resources for BDAC, number one, number two, number three, and number four. And this means that whenever Logos opens BDAG and it sees a Bible reference to the New Testament, it opens up Nestle Aland 28. The next one, whenever Logos opens BDAG and it finds a reference to the Septuagint, then it opens the Logos Septuagint, this particular resource with morphology in Greek. Whenever BDAG sees a reference to Josephus, I want Logos to open the works of Flavius Josephus. And finally, whenever BDAG shows a reference to the Apostolic Fathers, I want Logos to show me the reference through the Apostolic Fathers Greek-English interlinear. Okay, now you know how to create section headings for your prioritization panel. You know how to find them in your library and how to drag them to your prioritization pane to divide resources as you wish. And you are now ready to prioritize your resources in Logos in a slightly more organized way. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to help us get these videos out to a wider audience. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.